I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to help you significantly expedite writing scripts for video ads. So my name is Ray. I actually am a partner at an agency called Retro Digital. And this is important because it takes so freaking long to come up with scripts and ideas for content to make for ads. And using this, I can show you within five minutes how using ChatGPT, not only can you make it faster, but then ChatGPT can actually be a tool to help you make infinite amount of videos and scripts. Make sure you subscribe. In this channel, I reveal the secrets that my team uses to scale brands at our agency. We have a big agency, nine people. Let's kind of walk through the steps you're gonna have to take. So what I'm gonna walk through today is showing you how we use ChatGPT to make the video scripts. You're gonna need to have access to some kind of reviews. It can be reviews from Amazon of your product or a different product. It can be reviews from your Shopify store or any other e-commerce platform you use. Or you can even use your competitors. If you have a competitor who sells a product just like yours, you can use their reviews as well to make the scripts. So the type of scripts we're going to make today are actually for ads that we're going to send to content creators for them to make us videos for our brands. Now, what you need to understand when we can make video ads for brands is we do it in what's called a modular fashion or in a creative bricks fashion like this. Video ads, there are fundamentals to making good video ads. Yes, there are some videos that may work really well just by having fun with it, just doing what's viral on TikTok or Instagram at the time. That is like one out of every 100 or 1,000 ads that do that. Instead, we like to use a base of fundamentals, what we call creative bricks to make videos. Every video that we make, that you should make as well, has these components to it. You have a hook, you have a body, and you have a call to action. But then inside of that, going a step further, is you have these bricks, these bricks that are added together to have a fundamentally sound ad. Now you can mix and match these bricks that I'll show you in this video, but the idea is that by using this is you can swap out different components of a video to find what works, to tell a different story, or to convey something differently for whatever awareness level or avatar you're targeting. But very simply, a video can has the hook and the angle. Then you have some section where you are identifying the pain or talking about the mass desire. Then you have an introduction to the video. Then you have a component where you are doing the product performance or the product demo, demonstrating the product. You then reveal the end desired result of using that product, show some kind of social proof, whether that's other people using it, it can be reviews, it can be many different things. Summarize again, what they get from it, and then an offer, a guarantee, or a call to action. So those are the components of what we call ad bricks or creative bricks. Now you can mix and match these things, which I'll show you how much easier that is using ChatGPT than all on your own. But what you need to understand is these components of a good video ad move people from the beginning all the way to consideration phase to buying because an ad should follow these steps. In the beginning of the ad, you need to quickly address why should someone give a crap? Why should they care? Because if you can't do that, they're not gonna watch the video. Then once you do that, you need the next part of the ad, once you've shown them why they should care, remove any disbelief that they have. Then once you remove their disbelief, then you can build desire, then you can satisfy desire, showing them where they can actually get that product, how they can buy, offer guarantee, what have you. Why I'm showing this to you is because this is the format we're gonna be using to use ChatGPT to script out a video that either we can make, you can make, or you can send to a content creator to make. Sound good? Ready? Let's dive in. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use a product like this. So uh, there is a brand that I'm friends with that sells a headlamp. So they sell this product right here. So it is a headlamp that mechanics use, hunters use, campers use, um, hikers use, dog walkers use, like tons of different people use these things, okay? So we're gonna use this as the example and we're gonna come up with a script in five minutes or less on how you can do that. Okay, so what are the steps to do that? So the first step is what I wanna do is I want to prompt Chad GPT. So I actually have another window I'm going to share with you right now. I have a window open just with chat GPT. So here is GPT. This is my account. And by the way, I have a paid account. I highly recommend you do it. It is well worth the investment. Again, like 20 bucks is not going to break the bank, but I love it. So I'm going to prompt GPT. So this is my prompt right here that I just archived. Feel free to steal it yourself. Cool. So once we have that, I've kind of primed them. Um, these are books I like to follow. I like for it to think like when it is making content. 
Okay, now the next prompt I'm gonna use is a prompt where give it understanding of what the product is. So once I've given it how I want it to think, then what I do is I then tell about the product. So let me go to the product. What I do is I just get all of this copy from the product page. Now there's many ways you can do this. You can just highlight it. You can just copy all and you can copy paste. That's okay too, especially the tech specs, okay? And it also gets some reviews. Okay, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna add it into chat GPT. I'm gonna tell it just reply okay because I don't want it to keep rambling on. Cool, awesome. That's a prompt I like to use a lot of times, just tell it to say okay until I'm ready to use it. So once I've given it details about the product, then what I want it to do is I want to give it reviews. Now, you don't have to use reviews, you can use any kind of information around, information about the product, why customers use it. You want to give it that. Now, you could go to YouTube, for example, if there's people who are doing a product review, you could export the transcription and you could give that to GPT. The easiest way is to go to the website or Amazon and just do product reviews. Now, there's an extension I use called the Helium 10 extension right here. It's free because what it does is I go to the product page and then there's a, a button I can click that then allows me to look at the reviews because people use this extension for research on how to list on Amazon and keywords, but I use it just to export. So what I did was to pull up the product on Amazon and I just went to here and I exported the table and I exported it in a CSV file. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to upload that file into GPT. I'm just gonna copy and paste it real quick off screen, copy and paste a bunch of these reviews into GPT, okay? So I had the reviews, I copied and pasted them. Now I'm just gonna upload them here. No rhyme or reason, I'm just uploading them. Stop, cool. Now, so now that I have the reviews uploaded, now GPT understands everything about my product that I wanted to understand. So I've uploaded, just a recap, I've uploaded information about the product, I've uploaded how I wanted to think. Now what I wanna do is, just going back to what I showed you at the beginning of the video, is I want to then upload how I wanted to structure the video bricks. So what I have to do now is I have to prompt GPT on the style of creative we're trying to make <clears throat> and the different types of bricks <clears throat> at its disposal that I may call on it to make. So I have another prompt, just ready to rock and roll. I'm just gonna copy and paste that real quick. Okay, now let's go back to GPT. Okay, so I'm here, I'm just gonna copy and paste this. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially giving it the different types of bricks I may call on it. You're welcome to mix and match the different kinds of bricks, but essentially what we use is hook or fax, problemization, make it worse, bad alternative, before versus after, old versus new, right? So these are just the sections of the video that we may call on GPT to mix and match, right? And that's where, if you think about it, I probably have, what is this, probably 15 different types of bricks. So if you think about what are the different possible combinations is a lot, you can mix and match. And that's just the combinations. You could also have it do it from different angles, different concepts, different perspectives, different avatars. So you can imagine, each one of those is the multiplier of itself and the amount of video scripts you can make becomes nearly infinite. Great, so now that I have this, I'm just gonna tell it to reply. Okay, cool. So now it understands, again, just to recap, understands the product, it understands how I want it to think, it understands the customer, it understands the product it's selling, and now it understands the types of video creative bricks I'm gonna call on it to help me make, okay? Great, so we have that. Okay, now what we wanna do is the bulk of the work is done. So what we wanna go from here is use GPT to now start tweaking what it gives us. So I'm gonna start giving it prompts on scripts I want it to make and then based off what it comes back to me, I may tweak it a little bit and then once I'm happy and satisfied it's giving me, then I know it's ready to pump out volume if I wanna do that. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going ahead and feed it its first script because the great thing here is it's gonna do 95% of the work, right? Which is so much easier for me. Okay, so this is the prompt that I use. Let so me copy paste it right here. Cool, so I'm just gonna give that details. I've noticed recently in the past few months that I need to remind GPT on the information I've given it or that I use its help to make a script. So I just like to add that detail, cool. So now I've reminded it of the details I've given it. Now I'm asking it to make a script that is exactly 30 to 45 seconds long using this structure. Let's see what happens. Cool, so you can see it's starting to pump out the before versus after, the, the scene, it may take a minute. All right, so while that's working, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the next part is what I actually wanted to do next is I actually wanted to turn it into a table. The reason why is 
I'm using this to brief someone else to make that video. You can use it to brief a designer, you can use it to brief a content creator, whatever. So what I wanna do instead is ask it to convert it into a table so that it's easy for me to review that script. It'd be easy for you to copy and paste this. You can put it in a Google Doc, you can put it in a sheet, and it makes it very easy to give to a content creator. So once it's doing that, I'm gonna prepare the next script. So once it's doing that, I like to do a second pass where the pass you have right now is good enough, you can just leave it as is, but this is where once it comes up with a version that you're kind of happy with, you're kind of happy with what it's saying, then what you can do here is you can then add in another layer of a persona. So looking at this, this is pretty good. So it's telling you here is the script of exactly what I wanted to say. So ever struggle with regular flashlight during nighttime, advantages of fix it tasks, meet the night buddy headlamp, right? So, and then it tells you exactly what scene to shoot next. So what I wanna do instead is I wanna kind of refine it because right now it's kind of broad. I wanna refine it to think like a specific avatar and I'm gonna shake up the bricks a little bit. So what I'm doing now is, okay, now I want you to change up the script. Um, write me another UGC script about Night Buddy using the table following structure. Focus on the type of customer, a mechanic who works on cars, whose pain is not great lighting and has to either hold a light in with his hand or to have a friend hold a light for him. So this is important because I've done research about the brand. I understand the reviews that this is a real pain that mechanics have where they sometimes they can't see all the crevices inside the engine or another friend has to hold a light or they have to hang a light. And so I know that about the brand, I can just better inform GPT. And then what I'm doing now is I'm shaking up the script because I feel like it's pretty good. The problem is it needs a bit more focus. So now I'm gonna give GPT just a bit more focus outlining the persona and even giving it the specific pain I want it to solve with the script. And typically after I do this step, it's a lot better. Let's see what it comes up with. See, already it's significantly better, right? That's a much better hook. Tired of under hood shadows when precision matters most. Totally. Um, forget juggling tools in a flashlight or relying on someone else's shaky hands. 100%. I mean, I work on cars, that's the real deal. My dad used to tell me all the time, Ray, hold the light steady, right? As you can see right here, it's already much better. So let's just recap. So the recap is you gotta train GPT on Creative Bricks. You have to train GPT on the product, on the customers, on the pains. And then once you get one or two outputs, then what I find that works best is once I know that it actually understands, which is this one, then I like to refine it and give it the specific audience, the specific um, persona, and the specific pain I want it to focus on. And as you can see here, the script is significantly better. And then you can always tweak it from here. So that right there covers 95% of your work of writing scripts for brands. You can mix and match it from there and you can make literally infinite possible scripts. Now by doing this, it eliminates the frustration and angst of what the heck do I write? How do I know it's good? I don't know about you, but once I have something, it's significantly easier for me to tweak it from there to make it better. So hope that's helpful to you. You can then take this, ship it to a content creator, give it to your designer and that they know how to formulate the creative and to make it look good. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, especially if you want more tips on how to use GPT, let me know in the comments because I have a lot more than this that I can show you guys. See you guys later.